another option that we're going to do here, another option for you. Uh, we're plenty strong, we've got the doubler back here and everything. Um, I'm going to take some triangle stock, like I said I'm using this plane as a tri-plane uh, tri as well. So I'm going to build up where, where my wing, wing plate is. And just like we did on Formers F2 and uh, Former F1 behind it, I'm just going to go ahead and put some triangle stock in there. So I already got my first one uh, done. And you can even, uh, you don't have to epoxy those in, uh, just CA is going to be strong. I'm just looking for the extra wood strength. But this is how I'm marking it down here. I'm just coming right across the top of F4 and right across the top of the fuselage. Give me a nice uh, even mark there to where I need it to be. And I'm just going to cut that, slap it in. All right. Now my triangles are in. I'm just sliding them up and down on the former with some good pressure on the front of it. That way it's going to adhere to uh, the back of the pieces that I've got. So I've got a little glue down on the very bottom touching the landing or the wing plate and glue on both sides of the triangle to hold the fuselage sides a little better with the uh, F4 bracing, which is also going to stiffen up the F4 brace. So things are looking good, nice and strong. That's the way I like them. Alright, while I was in there doing the, uh, the servo mount here, I decided I went ahead and put in some triangles right over top of the wing plate and against the fuselage. So I just cut into the angles of the other triangle that's going down the side of F2. Once again, I am doing a little bit of overkill here. You do not need to do that, but if you want to go ahead and brace that up, you can put in some square stock or some triangle stock like I did. All right, I just had a dope factor. I uh, put my triangle stock in, and then, of course, I covered my hole that I'm going to run my antenna tube through. So I just took care of that with another drill bit and re-drilled through the thing, but it's a little tougher to get the drill in there with the sides of the fuselage on, so uh, all I needed to do was cut that triangle a little, little bit lower or pre-drill the hole by marking it out. I forgot to do both, so it's all taken care of now, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to run our antenna tube. Hopefully you'll see what's going on. So now I'm just going to take my antenna tube, and I'm going to run it right through F4. And see, this is so much easier to do when you got space around you to do it. And then I'm going to run it to F7. And you just spin it as you're pushing it through and it'll go right through. I got it nice and snug because it's just the way I like to do things. It makes things a little more difficult at times, but at the same time, you don't have to worry about it moving. You also don't want to worry about splitting wood either. So now I'll just spin it and go through, get it through my other mistake that I made with my other second F7. And I'm going to spin it and I'm going to have it come right out into the back of my fuselage here and drop out through the tail. That's why I'm doing this all now because I'm not going to be able to get in here to do this later. And it's just a nice neat way to run your antenna from your receiver into the plane. So I'm going to give myself plenty of slack here where I can get in here and bend this down. And then I'm just going to take my drill bit, because it's nice and easy, soft, pliable balsa on the bottom, I'm just going to spin my hands back and forth with the drill bit, I won't need to drill. And make a hole back here, and then angle it slightly, so it'll follow through to the path a little easier. And then I'm going to spin it some more. I kind of got a little downward angle going, so I'm going to try and utilize that. You can go ahead and take a control rod stick that through, I should have done that from the beginning, and use it as a cheat and push the tube right on that. So that's what I'm going to do right here. Just push the push rod through and try to get it to get inside that hole. There, now when I feed it through, it should feed right through the push rod tube and I can wiggle it around down here. Help itself through. And I want to bring the push rod tube right through so it sticks out the bottom like so. Good pair of wire cutters. Get me there too. Alright, now I got that. Push it back through my fingers till it's flush. Might have to draw a little bit from here. So I can feel it come out flush with the bottom of the hole. And that's all that I needed to do. There it is. Then I'll just take some zap and drop it right around the hole and that should help hold that piece right there. Let's take some zap and put it around the back and front here and here. 
and right here on the 